Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and back to the series, Blender 3.3 New Hair Series. We're back in episode 6. Um, we're covering the hair sculpting tools. And today we're going to cover the remaining sculpting tools. So let's cue the intro and get back. Alright, so today I've got, I've got a new hair groom this time something that i think will help explain some of the uh features we're going to talk about uh the remaining sculpting tools are the uh, smooth slide and finally uh, some of the uh, selection tools so let's quickly talk about the smooth tool now before i get into it let's go back into uh solid mode and i've got this random color if you're wondering how i did that it's just select this menu and then click on random here and you can get random color for every different object that's really helpful when you're doing hair because you can see each hair groom separately real quick because this hair groom is extremely slow i'm going to uh, go into the modifier stack and i'm going to turn off this noise which will make all my hairs look smooth what the smooth tool does is it will smooth out any kind of hair that is not straight that's what it's doing it's trying to straighten out and smooth any of the kinks in the hair so for example if you look at the brush settings there's really nothing here it's just the radius and the strength and the usual stroke fall off and the cursor settings whatever so let's take a quick look at what happens if you decide to really mess up one of these hairs okay okay there we go so you see it's really messed up so what we can do is we can smooth this out by using the smooth tool I'm going on maximum strength in the sphere mode and you can see what's happening trying to figure out how do you how do you sort of fix this issue and you can see as I keep brushing over it it's kind of smoothing out the shape and it's basically trying to sort of get it back into sort of a straighter smoother look okay so that's what we use the smooth tool for it's really useful to kind of make sure that everything kind of looks smooth and nice and dandy and let's quickly cover the uh, slide tool but before I do that I'm going to hide this small shot here and I'm just going to turn off this clumping thing and basically what slide will do if you look at the settings it has no real settings just like the previous tool but it's a really unique kind of tool it allows you to sort of move this hair where you want you can just select this hair and kind of move it this way now and uh, I had to switch to a different view because um, a different file because the other one kind of got stuck and wasn't working very well okay so basically I have a couple of hairs here so basically what happens is when you move this when you slide this you kind of slide the hairs to move a little bit why are they bouncing back this is not supposed to happen what the hell is happening okay you can kind of see it now I think working for larger strokes basically it allows you to sort of slide here this hairs across the kind of screen a little bit like across the surface rather than the screen and you can kind of move them where you want them to be kind of so that's how you can that's how the slide works it's pretty simple it's not very complicated and that's that okay so let's go back to our scene okay so now now that we've kind of figured out the slide tool let's re-enable these okay uh, let's figure out how this uh, selection mode works okay well, selection mode is a really powerful tool it'll allow you to sort of control how you select these grooms it's it's really powerful okay so first of all once you select the select mode okay you get a brush that just allows you to select them and this brush also has the same sort of controls that you've seen before the radius and the strength and it allows you to sort of select so if I would increase the radius for example I'll increase the radius reduce the radius quite a bit if I just reduce it I can select much less uh, more than the strength it's the radius that really controls this you, you have this minus symbol meaning subtract you can also see it over here you can just press control on the keyboard to minus things and this will allow you to sort of deselect things as we go okay we also have the regular symmetry stroke fall off whatever it's really easy to see now because of the colors if, if you're just using the normal mode sometimes it's a bit difficult to see this you, can, you just it just keeps it whiter but with much thinner hair it's much harder to see so I like to 
use this colors to help me see a bit better so the select mode allows you to select a particular like let's say these two sort of strands now if i were to use any of these other other tools if i were to apply it all here here nothing is happening but if i were to apply it here it only affects this these two strands this is a powerful tool for sort of controlling specific results that's what the select tool allows you to do but the select tool goes a little bit further than that once you select the select tool on the top there is sort of a, a two buttons here that allows you to decide the mode okay of selection so right now i have it set so this is called the curve mode or spline mode okay um, this allows me to select the entire hair strand use the size so you can really see what i'm doing but if i were to se select this control point mode it'll allow me to select only the control points you can see that i can i can now select like half the hair or, or if we only wanted this side do you see so now i'm selecting only here and if i want to cur uh, curve this i'm going to be controlling just this just this point okay but that's what makes it so powerful in allowing you to control how and when where you're adjusting so if you only wanted to adjust this section you could or maybe this section you could now i really want to cover the remaining features because i think it's just a little bit on the top bar here you have a couple of settings one is the view mode which allows you to adjust some of the view things we, we we're not going to cover too much of this here or any of it we have the select mode so just like the select mode here you have a select menu which allows some additional sort of select controls for example let's just select control points so you can see all the settings because some of these settings only work with the control points and some don't so if i select all it'll select all the hairs you can also use a double press a or a to um, select or deselect everything you can press alt n uh, alt a to get select nothing and you can also do something like this so for example if i were to select only these hairs but i i don't want to now i want to start sculpting on this area I can just invert my selection and select everything except those hairs. So that's a that's a convenient control. I can also use something called random, which allows me to randomly select whatever. This might be much more useful with the this mode. So if I were to randomly select, for example, it'll randomly select strands all over the hair groom. Then we have something called the grow. I'm gonna get back to the endpoints for a second. Or rather, let's just select the endpoints. So if I select endpoints what happens is it selects all the very end points it doesn't look like anything is selected because it's the very end okay but i'm all i've selected the end points now watch what happens if i grow this selection using the grow symbol let me let me use the mouse it's much easier okay let's select endpoints let's use shift a and do you see that as i move the mouse i select more and more i'm growing the selection cool now this would be a very convenient spot for for example inverting and we could get the bottom so that's that's cool the end points by the way are, are these points this is actually the starting point i made a small mistake there this is the end points okay and that's it that's the selection modes now and then you have a menu called the curves menu and this allows you to do three things the first thing is to snap to deform surface now what the snap to deform surface means is let's just say i go later i go in and i modify this head by sculpting it basically i'm deforming this surface the hairs will not deform with the sculpting it'll just stay where it is and if i want to make the hairs attach back to their original spot on the head you use this uh, snap to deform surface but let's just say i want it to snap to the closest point the nearest surface it's going to snap back to whatever is the closest point so it may not necessarily go back to its original position so these two are things are sort of different ways of sort of snapping back the hair to a deform uh, deformation so if you're sculpting and then you want to do grow hair and then you want to sculpt again you can use that to sort of reattach the hair there's also an option to convert back to the old particle system and this is really powerful because this system is not complete it's very close to completion i guess but it's not complete the old system is more robust in some ways and this system for example does not have real physics whereas the old system does so sometimes you might want to convert back into the old particle system so you could use real physics 
and that's it that's all the menu so print at this point with this we've covered every single thing there is to know about the sculpt modes and the menu here and all the settings as far as I as far as I know anyway and now I think it's time to start to head into some more complex stuff like uh, geometry node stuff that allow you to do hairstyles like this where you have um, sort of dreadlocks kind of thing I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly walk you into the geometry node stuff because I myself I'm not very familiar with geometry nodes even though I'm a Houdini user I'm not a very good at, I'm not very good at geometry nodes I don't fully understand what all the nodes do so in some ways I'm approaching this like a beginner so if I can do it you can do it Okay, great. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.